My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and in today's Everyday Office video, I'm going to continue on this theme of building out a successful spreadsheet for tracking all the employees within an organization. Because in tomorrow's video, what I'm going to do is create a Visio org chart that's based off this spreadsheet. So that I can continually come back to the spreadsheet update who reports to whom, who has what positions, etc., and then basically refresh your Visio diagram. If you didn't see yesterday's video, go ahead and click the link up there. Um, in that, I created a data validation to require that the ID column over on the left be a unique value. Now, I'm going to go one step further, and in this reports to column over here on the right, I'm going to restrict reports to to only those entries that are currently in the ID column over on the left. To do this, I highlight the cells that are in this table. First, make sure that you go to the Design tab and check what you named your table. So in yesterday's video, I named this table Employees, and then of course the A column is called ID. Because of this, because of Employees and ID, if I know how to use the indirect function, I can use data validation to restrict the values in the reports to column to only those things that are in the A column, the ID column over on the far left. So I highlight the cells over in the reports to column, go to the data tab at the top of the screen, and use the button for data validation. And this time, on the settings tab, instead of using the custom option, I'm going to use the list selection, where the list is a, an already entered list somewhere on my spreadsheet. Click on list, and the source here needs to be basically the entire column called ID within the employees table. But unfortunately, I can't just write that out. I have to use the function called indirect. Indirect, open parentheses, and then in quotation marks here, I just write out the name of the table, which is employees, open the square brackets, and type in the name of the column, which is ID, close the square brackets, close the quotation marks, close the parentheses. And just like that, I'm using a column from my table as the drop-down menu in another column of the same table. By clicking OK here, I now have the ability to go to, let's say, employee number four, who I'll say is uh, named George Smith. And if George Smith is the um, VP of finance, then George Smith must report to the CFO. And as you can see on the drop down menu here, I can choose 003 as the person that that person reports to. And so now, in preparation for tomorrow's video, we have a spreadsheet that has a table on it that continually grows and shrinks as I add or remove employees, whose ID column restricts it to only unique values. So if I click in cell six here under George Smith's entry, and I try to type in a three, for example, as the ID number for this next person, the um, conditional, excuse me, the data validation stops me from being able to do that uh, duplicate value. I have to do something like five, for example. And then here I might do Susan Mori, who is the um, VP of sales, who also reports to the CFO. And so now between the data validation and of the column on the left for unique values and the data validation of the column on the right for entries that are only already in the table, I should be able to now build out an entire list of people, who they work for, and then import that directly into a Visio diagram. 